AdvoCare presents our moment of the match. And this week's beauty comes in the 20th minute against New York City FC. And this one drives off of Saunders and into the net. That was Maxi Arruti's eighth goal of the season as FC Dallas played to a 2-2 draw at Yankee Stadium. Of course, Morrow had the dish in that play, which enabled Maxi to score his eighth goal of the season. FC Dallas playing to that two-all draw against New York City FC last Saturday in Yankee Stadium. You know, I've heard a lot of criticism, as I'm sure you have, about playing at Yankee Stadium as a soccer pitch. What was it like from your perspective? Uh, I think it was. Uh, it is more personal. Is how how you feel, how you uh, connect to the field. Uh, as soon as possible, uh, we try to do that in the in the warm ups. Try to get used to the field. Uh, obviously, it's not the same. Just the structure of of the field that is not uh, a soccer stadium. But if you get used to it easily, it is fine. You can get get through the the game and uh, not feeling and not thinking about too much about the game. It's just thinking about just to be in the right position. Just try to have your team uh, be be set up. Um, and obviously, it's not the same because the the, the dimension of the field. But uh, I got used to uh, easily, and and we I think we we did pretty well. You've played in a lot of those multi-purpose facilities, you know, baseball and soccer or football and soccer. Which ones are more conducive to converting from a pitch to a football field, for example? Which work better for soccer players? The soccer, <laughs> soccer field. <laughs> soccer exclusive, of course, of course. Uh, yeah. um, I think the, the, the more difficult is this one because yeah. it's, it's baseball. Uh, football is pretty much the same, just a little bigger, uh, but uh, obviously the, the baseball one uh, could be difficult for, for, for a, or make a, a, a right football field, soccer field. Fun to see though, fun to watch, and it's also been fun to watch the FC Dallas Academy, who picked up right where it left off last season and is off to a strong start this fall. Carter Baum has more about a dominant weekend against the Houston Dynamos Academy in this week's FCD Next. Brought to you by Chase. The FC Dallas Academy teams were all in action last weekend, kicking off the USSDA version of the Texas Derby with seven matches against the Houston Dynamo Academy. The FCD sides went 6-1 in the matches and outscored Houston 20-7. The U18s took a 2-1 result in their second match of the season, with Jesus Ferreira scoring his second of the year and forward Aldo Cavedo notching his first. For uh, last year's success, we have a big target on our back, especially going to a, a rival good team like Houston. So we had to put our best foot forward and just kind of demonstrate that we're not going to roll over. And if a team wants to beat us, they're going to have to play the best game ever. The 16s posted a 3 to nothing win over the Dynamo, with the 16s improving to 2-0 and on the season. Forward Brayan Padilla followed up his four-goal opening game performance with another tally in the win, now leading all FCD Academy players with five goals in 2016. It's good to get both of the wins first against Solar and then now against Houston. And obviously if it's a derby, we always want to win. And it's a pleasure to have that, play that game and win it. The 16s and 18s head to the Rockies this weekend for a pair of games against Real Colorado and the Colorado Rush. For FCD Next, presented by Chase, I'm Carter Baum. Still ahead, we are continuing to focus on the FC Dallas Academy. Learn what goes into building the most dominant youth program in the game. Fall in love with Texas soccer by becoming an FC Dallas season ticket member. 2017 memberships are on sale right now. 18 game packages start at just 20 bucks a game. Visit fcdtexassoccer.com for more information.